everyone. It is, what time is it? 6.05 p.m. on Sunday, December 26th. And we are coming to you live from Belfont, Pennsylvania, in the middle of the Steelers game. And yes, we are keeping hope alive. So all you Steelers fans out there, just give you know, give us a big shout. Woo! Woo! Today is the first day of the 12 days of Christmas. And we're going to share a book with you. And it is the 12 days of Christmas in Pennsylvania. And between now and January 6th, we're going to take a look at each day and each day in Pennsylvania and have different readers coming to you. Today is also the first day of Kwanzaa. So happy Kwanzaa, everyone. And at 7 p.m. tonight, Tiara Williams will be reading our first Kwanzaa book to celebrate Kwanzaa. But here we go. The 12 days of Christmas in Pennsylvania, written by Martha Peasley Levine, illustrated by Rachel Doherty. There that it is. And it's about a cousin, a set of cousins coming, and one of them coming to visit for the first time in Pennsylvania. So here we go. Dear Abby, is your suitcase ready? Soon it will be Christmas vacation and you'll be in Pennsylvania with us. I'm so excited. We have lots of fun planned. I'll give you a hint about some of it. There will be snow, sweets, and songs. Pack plenty of layers. We'll be trekking around in the mountains, sailing on the water, and marching through a battlefield. I know you love animals. Don't worry, you'll see lots. Over half the state is covered with forests. We have black bears, white-tailed deer, that's our state animal, and loads of birds. There are over 400 species of wild birds in our state. Some live here all the time, like me, and some just stop in for a visit, like you. Did you know that we're the state with Punxsutawney Phil? That's right, Punxsutawney Phil. The only real weather forecasting groundhog? Perhaps you can come back in February for Groundhog Day and see Phil in action. But right now, I'm anxious for your plan to arrive. I hope you're bringing a really big suitcase because I have 12 surprises for you. One for each of the 12 days of Christmas. See you soon, your cousin, Jim. And we live here full time, right? And our niece just arrived in Philly today, right? So she's visiting. So hey, Caitlin, <laughs> welcome to Pennsylvania. All right. So on the first day of Christmas, my cousin gave to me a partridge in a hemlock tree. And there's our first picture. So Abby writes home to her parents. Dear mom and dad, I made it. Uncle Richard, Aunt Faye and Josh were waiting for me at the airport in Philadelphia. And Josh already gave me my first present, my very own ruffed grouse. That's Pennsylvania State Bird. Some people call it a partridge. Even John James Audubon, who painted all those amazing pictures of birds. I'm naming him Willie, after William Penn, who founded Pennsylvania. My little guy is Willie from Philly. <laughs> he got so excited when he met me that he started drumming his wings. It sounded like dad firing up his old lawnmower, the slow whir of the blades until finally the motor catches and kicks into gear. Josh also gave me a little eastern hemlock, the state tree. Josh says when my tree is much older and produces cones, they'll end up looking like small bells, which is pretty perfect since our first stop after we left the airport was to see the famous, what do you think? Liberty Bell. The Liberty Bell. Did you know that the bell cracked the very first time it rang? Oops. <laughs> Next, we walked over to Independence Hall, the birthplace of the United States. It was here that Benjamin Franklin, Thomas Jefferson, and the others signed the Declaration of Independence. Uncle Richard brought, bought us copies, and Willie donated one of his beautiful tail feathers. We used it as a quill pen and signed our documents just like the Founding Fathers did way back in 1776. Your independent daughter, Abby. So join us tomorrow and we'll move on to the second day of Christmas in Pennsylvania. I bet they get cheesesteaks. Do they get cheesesteaks while they're in so. Philly? Which they kind? Might as well. 
Which one I'm is not, yours? I'm not getting into so that. So there you go on our Facebook page. We've got a poll for you. What are the two that we want to know about? Pat's or Gino's. So do you prefer a Pat's cheesesteak or a Gino's cheesesteak? Let us know. We're trying to figure this out. Happy holidays to everyone. Make sure to tune in at 7 p.m. and catch Tierra Williams. And we'll see you over the next 12 days. Bye, everybody. Bye. Wave. <laughs> And everybody wave as we, everybody, all of us sitting here <laughs> are waving.